on God. I'm not saying nothing else. I'm I'm way out the way. Y'all can have the city. Y'all can have. So, look, let me tell you something. This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. All y'all niggas like, oh, yeah, they at the Capitol. Okay, cool. They finna start running their houses. They gonna start doing whatever they want. They about to start doing whatever. They just showed you if they could run in the Capitol without getting shot. You don't think these niggas finna start running down the niggas' houses? All right, cool. Look, you have idiots like this. First of all, how is this man live? How is this man live and clear in the middle of nowhere? You an idiot. You like a real life idiot. That lets me know that you ain't prepared for no type of hiking situation. You ain't prepared for none of that. There's routers. There's all type of Wi-Fi boosters. There's antennas. There's all type of satellite. You you don't you don't know anything, dog. Cause once again, you're a bot. You don't listen. You don't listen. You're a bot. You don't listen. You have a smartphone in your hand and never use it. Nine times out of ten, you probably watch Battle Rap, Vlad TV, Complex Magazine, and all the shit that keep you distracted from learning how to survive on your fucking own. Simple. And you might believe, well, I'm not a bot, I'm a human. No, you're a bot. Your mentality is already bot. Everything about your mentality, bot. Because you don't know how to survive on your own, bot. My nigga, you ever heard of a Tesla coil? I don't need energy out here. I can power everything from my Tesla coil. It's very easy to build a Tesla coil. You can get on YouTube right now and type in how to build a Tesla coil. You'll see about a five-year-old to nine-year-old white kid building one of the motherfuckers. And you can learn how to power all your cell phones, all your devices for absolutely free. Simple as that. But you'll probably... Dun, 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 dun. Yo, look, hey, look, though, peep this. Look how many people in my live today. You know why all these people in my live? Because they buy. People in there, but peep. Since something big happened yesterday, all the little sheeps and bots that don't know what to do, they normally in my live because something happened. Something happened. Something happened on a major scale. So let's run a daylight live and see what he has to say. Because maybe we get some information and try to figure it out. But prior to this, we give a fuck about what he had to say. It's cool. Look, <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's all right, geez. I know y'all looking for answers. Y'all trying to figure it out. But guess what? You're fucked. I'm not telling you shit. You're fucked today. Don't ask me for no advice. Don't slide in my DM. Talk about I need help. No, you're fucked. Figure it out, bitch. Figure it the fuck out. Fuck all of y'all motherfuckers. If you ain't been listening, then you're fucked. Love y'all niggas, man. Y'all hear a falcon over here. Who is, hey, Horace! Where my boy Horace at? I hear a falcon flying by. Horace! What's the deal? My boy Horace around here somewhere. 
He's steady. Oh God, I'm looking for him. Where is he? Oh God, my boy Horace chirp chirping somewhere. Hey Horace, what's the deal, fool? out here falconing around hey bring your falcon looking ass out man i know you're around there somewhere oh god oh god look we down there the mayans Yo, look at all these people in my life man they never be in my life look at all these government agents man i ain't saying nothing Oh God. Look at all these people in here. Oh God. They wait for all type of answers, man. The bots on fleek today. Oh God. Look, look at them. They all waiting, oh God. They in there waiting for I know daylight gonna say something worth listening to. Let me come over there daylight live real quick. Oh God. Y'all want some information? Alright, y'all gotta pay. Oh God. Oh Bob. Cash app, bitch. Oh my mama. Oh, God, y'all got to pay for information now, bitch. I'm taxing. Since you want to be all in my life, snooping around, looking for information to get out the system. Oh, God. Nigga, you got to pay. Nigga. God. My mama. I ain't talking. Y'all can sit here all you want, bitch. You can get out the live. I ain't saying. If you're looking for information, you're not getting it here. Get your ass out of here. Oh, God. I want this shit to go down to two people. I ain't telling the nigga nothing today, bitch. You niggas are doomed. Ah. Hey, what's the deal, horse? Ah. Shit. I'm going to say this loud and clear, and I hope y'all really listen to me. A lot of y'all niggas is doomed. And this might hurt to say. But listen to you. I'm going to tell you why you're doomed. You're doomed because you put daily life activities over what was more important. And you fell victim to loving a system that is not designed to protect you. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to be a rapper. Oh, I need to upload music to SoundCloud. Or I need to do this, or I need to do that, or I need to get on, or I need to get a position, or I need to care about this girl that really don't understand the program. You know how many niggas fuck with bitches that really don't get it, and niggas sacrifice their own information and knowledge to keep the bitch? Look, it's a lot of y'all niggas that put everything that's more important, everything that's not important in front of things that's important, and you know that you're not supposed to be doing it, and you do it anyway. So when this system crumbles, and you are not ready, just look yourself in the mirror and go, I fucked up. Don't run. When the zombie apocalypse come, don't run. Just let them bite you. Ain't no, you don't got nowhere to run to. What's the point of running? Just let them bite you and be a zombie like the rest of the zombies. Because you technically already a zombie now. But peep, when the zombie apocalypse come, don't run. They don't be panicking, doing all the panic and scary shit. Because you don't got nowhere to go. So just go on there to get bit. Nine times out of ten, your girl going to get be a zombie first because her bitch ass was out of shape. She didn't work out. She didn't do shit. So she going to get caught soon as the zombies come. She going to get bit. Your dumb ass going to try to protect her and save her. You going to get bit. It's over. So look. End of the day. 
at the end of the day, a lot of people had opportunity. Everybody had opportunity to protect. Oh, nigga, 15,000 cigarettes. Some of you niggas are in a whole 15,000 just clothing alone in your whole life. Look. It's simple. It's simple. But only reason why I still care about y'all. Like I'm going to tell you. I'm going to keep it all the way 100. Only reason why I really still care about y'all. Is because I know some of y'all didn't have a choice. Some of y'all was born in a system that you didn't even know you was born in. Some of y'all was born inside a system that you didn't even know you was born in. It's like fish at the aquarium. Fish at the aquarium don't even know that they're in an aquarium. They think this the ocean. They don't know. They just swim back and forth in the circles and they like, well, I'm going to just make a left at this reef because that might be the end of the reef. They don't know that they're not in the ocean. And that's the thing with a lot of y'all. Y'all don't know. You know how many people live in New York and don't know it's a better life everywhere else? I got a homie right now that's paying down there $2,500 for a bum-ass nigga bookshelf in the middle of New York. Oh, God, he paying $2,500 a month for a bookshelf. Oh, God, you can't even take a piss in that motherfucker how small it is. But he don't know no better. He, do, he think that's the way the whole world is. He don't know no better. He think that there's no other better place to live. As simple as that, bro. The problem is everybody was born in a situation, majority people was born in a situation where they don't even, they don't even process they don't even have like the right DNA codes to even process the ability to understand the scenario inside the system that was created for them. They don't even they don't even have they don't even have an idea of a key exist. All right, here go a real question in here. How many of y'all never flew nowhere in your whole life? This is a question, like, and don't lie, be honest. How many of y'all never flew nowhere? Be honest. How many of y'all never flew nowhere, bro? Look, and it's the first step. It's the first step. You niggas don't want to admit. This is the first step, admitting, admitting that you fucked up. That's the problem with social media. The problem with social media, everybody want to cap. No, keep it real. How many of y'all niggas never flew nowhere, never went nowhere? All right, peep this. A plane ticket is $100. How many of y'all niggas got PS4s with more than 10 games? How many of y'all got PS4s with more than 10 games plus internet? Plus subscriptions? Plus VC points and all type of shit? Hey, look, I'm going to tell y'all this. If you got some money, look, 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 look. If you got $300 right now, just $300, listen to me, listen to me, fellas. If you got $300 in your bank account or in your pocket right now, 
Go find you a flight somewhere. I don't give a fuck if you got work. I don't give a fuck if you got school. I don't give a fuck what you got. Go find you a flight somewhere and go see something, dog. Go see something, my nigga. You got 300 something. Maybe you could get a flight for 200 depending on where you go. Go see something, dog. Before they shut all of this shit down, go see something, man. Go see something, man. Anywhere. Damn, see? This is what I'm saying. Niggas' brains can't even process where to go. My nigga asking me, is there anywhere I recommend? Nigga, you don't got your own brain? You don't got your own brain? You can't get on Google and go, let me just look for some places that look cool. You don't got your own brain can't think of a, a place to go. All right, come to California. Everybody come to Cali. Fuck it. Let's have a meet and greet before the COVID over. Fuck it. Everybody come to Cali. Fuck it. Everybody. Everybody come to Cali. Just tell me when you come in. Like, book a one-way trip. Come on. Let's just... Let's, hey, let's just, let's, let's do what they did. Let's do a riot. Let's do a, a capital thing. Who with it? Oh, my mama, we about to go in Veggie Grill. Fuck it. Come on, everybody. Let's go raid Veggie Grill and Whole Foods, all the good stores. Oh, my mama, we got to have a riot at, at Whole Foods. Oh, my mama, we in there. Let's get all that macaroni and all that good shit. Oh, my God. Nigga, ain't nobody leaving California, you dumbass nigga. Who the fuck leaving California? Nobody. They're clearly lying about 99% of the COVID numbers. They're lying about everything because they know California is a safe space. It's a very good safe space. So what they do, they're going to exaggerate the numbers in California specifically so all of you niggas don't come here. Simple. They're going to exaggerate the numbers so you can feel, oh, it is not safe in Cali. I'm not going. Simple. It's a simple mind fuck. It's the same way they tell niggas in the East Coast, California have earthquakes. My nigga, I haven't felt the earthquake in who knows when, my nigga. And when we do have.